So there's a new circuit court judge in the South Carolina First Judicial Circuit. His name is Heath Preston Taylor. And if you just say that, Heath Preston Taylor, I mean, sounds like a good old boy, right? <laughs> now, I'm not going to jump to conclusions on this new judge, okay? I'm going to give him a chance to show whether or not he has a commitment to true justice in the Palmetto State. And I'm referring to whether or not he lets murderers out on bond, whether he gives them slaps on the wrist, whether he re-victimizes victims in his courtroom, whether he drags his feet in setting trial dates for these violent offenders, uh, and most importantly, whether he kowtows to the interests and the wishes of the powerful legislators who appointed him to his position, who set his salary, the budget for his office, and who literally control his entire branch of government. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Heath, Heath Preston Taylor, you know, literally sounds like a, you know, frat boy shirt. But anyway, I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. But, but there was some troubling news out of Orangeburg, South Carolina, and no one picked up on this because it appeared in the Orangeburg Times and Democrat paper that pretty much nobody outside of Orangeburg reads. And it was buried at the very end of the article about Heath Preston Taylor's investiture ceremony where he was sworn in as the newest circuit court judge in South Carolina. And at the very end of that article by Martha Rose Brown, there was a little reference to the fact that following his ceremony, Taylor was feted at a party sponsored by the Williams and Williams Law Firm. Now, if you follow Fitz News, you're probably familiar with the Bowen Turner saga, which is just a colossal miscarriage of justice in which a powerful lawyer legislator, South Carolina Senate Minority Leader Brad Hutto, reached a deal with the South Carolina Second Circuit Solicitor's Office to basically give a a serial rapist, an accused serial rapist, uh, a sweetheart plea deal, uh, probation. Now, Bowen Turner has since violated that probation and is on the verge of being sent to prison for that violation, but he was let off the hook for the three alleged sexual assaults. And a big part of that was Brad Hutto. And Brad Hutto, he's an attorney at the Williams and Williams Law Firm, the same firm which hosted this reception for the newly installed Judge Heath Preston Taylor. Now, again, I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Every ruling he makes, we're going to approach it as a standalone issue. But this is not promising, folks. This is not promising at all because it's the same system. It's the same lawmakers picking the same kind of judges. And are we supposed to expect different outcomes? I don't think so. We're going to keep a very close eye on this new judge, people, and we're going to keep a very close eye on all judges in the Palmetto State because, again, we've got a hostage situation in South Carolina. We've got a branch of government, the legislative branch, holding the judicial branch hostage. And if that continues, we're going to continue to see the sort of bloody consequences that have violent crime in South Carolina out of control and that have victims continually re-victimized. You want the same thing? Keep allowing the same people to elect the same judges. You want change? Start demanding your right to pick the judges, not the politicians.